Hi guys, this is Matthias. You all remember how many times you've suggested to me try out the Madsen. Hey Matti, the Madsen Storm, the Madsen Trench, you should try the Madsen, all of that. And I've been like, nah, shit weapon, I don't like it, nah, I've tried it, it's not that good. And then I tried it again, and it turns out you were all right, and I was wrong. Of course, I'll never admit that, but uh, that's another story. So, this is the first time in a long time that I'm uh, using the Madsen Trench. And I just happen to have this really crazy good killstreak here on Suez. As a matter of fact, the beginning of this killstreak that I'm talking about wasn't even part of this clip. So, uh, a few of the kills in the beginning we all missed, but uh, yeah, you'll see the majority of it here. Now, one of the things that strikes me with this weapon, and maybe that goes for more um, trench LMGs than I've tried out. But what really caught my attention with the Madsen Trench is that it's actually very good for aiming down sight, despite being a trench we uh, weapon, which might go well with the fact that it's an LMG and that's what the LMGs are for. What this means is that you have a weapon that is very versatile. Now you don't have a very big magazine and you don't have the bipods. So if you for whatever reason want that then you should go for another weapon. But for the run and gun type gameplay that you see in this video that suits uh, maps like uh, here Suez, uh, Argon Forest and plenty of the other smaller mostly infantry based uh, maps this is a really good choice. Also keep in mind that with this weapon you want to reload it before you empty the magazine because that way you get a really quick reload. I think it was 2.6 seconds if uh, Ludwig Hendrickson uh, inform me, informed me correctly. However, if you do empty the magazine, uh, it's gonna take about four seconds to reload it. And yeah, obviously that's a big difference. So if you can keep that in mind while in combat, the, which might be easier to, said than done, then yeah, you'll benefit quite a bit from that as well. What the fuck? I'm going 20. More like a 20 kill streak or something. 15 kill streak here. So yeah, one of the things that you may have seen me do quite a lot if you've paid attention is that I start hip firing many times in combat and then start aiming down sight after I started firing. And looking back at this, I noticed that this is much more visible and much more clear with the Madsen than with plenty of the other weapons that I normally use. Now, there's nothing unusual with it, uh, with that technique. However, if you want to benefit from the increased accuracy while aiming down sight, you need to burst fire, at least make one burst in order for the increased accuracy to occur. If you do it at relatively close range, obviously it doesn't matter that much. Holy moly! Oh! I'm fucking owning with this weapon. Mati, use the Madsen. Nah, it's a shit weapon. I'm guessing you guys. I'm one, one, one. How many how many points does it take you to get to level 150? How many points do you need? I don't remember the points, but it's like 900 minutes or something. So it's a lot. So after having a little bit of success with the trench version of the Madsen, I actually decided to unlock the storm because, like, why not, right? Funny as it is, I was kind of surprised that I didn't have it unlocked already. So, are you a Madsen fan? And if so, which version of the Madsen do you like? I kind of made a mistake of basing my opinion on the low weight version, obviously. And I'm wondering if any of you guys are looking forward to see a video with the storm in a week, maybe two weeks or so. Anyhow, I hope you will enjoy the rest of the video, the Madsen MG Trench. And who knows, maybe there'll be a limpet or two as well. Thanks for watching, guys. On me. He's proning. What the fuck? I didn't see him! I didn't see him, I was like...
I was just gambling and I, I should have used the oh, yeah, limpet there. I'm only behind you. On me. No. Inside the building. They are E also. Ah, damn. Take an objective, Edward. And then you play the game, it's like, oh, that doesn't work. Oh, that doesn't work. Oh, that's a bug. Oh, shit. It's another issue. Oh, thank you, motherfuckers. What the, what does it, uh, what does it mean is uh, Denna Tobax var a skader hells? Huh? What does... It means Denna Tobax var a skader hells. Means don't smoke, moron. Then the Och är bero en framkallande. I don't know what you had spelled. Denna var a skader hellsan och är beroende framkallande. It basically means, if you translate it word by word, it means if you smoke this shit, you're an idiot. Oh shit, I got the tank. <laughs> Behind the sniper? Yeah. Hey, what a bang. Someone here. Not anymore. Yeah, I'm going towards C. 
Hier, falsche Munition! No. Behind you, man. Thanks. Hier, erste Hilfe für dich! Das ist schon schön. There's a sniper behind the building, Maddie, on the left, on the right. Where I'm flaming. He's dead. Alright. Shit. Oh! 